Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Digital Dimwood here, and we're doing another video about Vanessa. No surprise there, a lot of people have been asking for it, and I am a giver, so I'm going to give you all whatever content you all ask for. I'm not going to deny you all anything. What we are going to be talking about today is something that I've been waiting for for a long time. A lot of you may know, or may not know, that Miss Wannabe District 27 Senator Vanessa Tejerina has been court-ordered for a psych evaluation. Yes, uh, has she taken it? We don't know. Will she take it? We don't know. It has been a topic that she avoids talking about, although she does talk about a lot of things. She never talks about her mental state. So what I did was I sat down, combed through the videos, discovered that Vanessa has narcissistic personality disorder. I'm not a psychiatrist. So what I did was I went ahead and I contacted a friend of mine who is a psychologist, who does have the degrees, who does have the schooling. Uh, although my friend asked me not to mention his or her name, I won't be doing that out of respect for this one person. This person said it. Among other things, Vanessa does have narcissistic personality disorder. I showed Vanessa's uh, statuses, her photos, her videos, her recordings, and based on that alone, she, this was a textbook narcissist. Today we're going to be uncovering Vanessa. So what is a narcissist? It's a term that a lot of people uh, hear thrown around a lot. I'm, I know I did. I had kind of a general idea of what a narcissist was. People with narcissistic personalities believe them to be extremely important above all others. They believe the world revolves around them and care little about anyone around them, even family or friends. They aren't empathetic at all, regardless of how much they say they are. Usually it is narcissists who try and convince people of their empathy the most. So that's already kind of a warning flag. Narcissists crave attention. They just want to be loved, they want to be admired, they want to be looked up to. They have a grandiose view of their lives, their uh, future, their accomplishments, and often use manipulation to achieve their goals. Now, examples of narcissists, okay? I'm a movie guy, I love movies. Here's some narcissists that we may have seen in movies. We have Ron Burgundy from Anchorman. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. We have Miranda Priestley from The Devil Wars Prada. You're ridiculous, Andrea. Everybody wants this. Everybody wants to be us. We have Steven Stifler from the American Pie franchise. The Stiff Man showed him the way. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah, Stifler! Uh, just think of these characters and how they act, what they do, what they say. And that's pretty much a narcissist. Okay, before we get into my findings, I want to go ahead and throw out, and I'm not saying that it's bad for her, I'm not saying that she can't run for office uh, with this disorder. In fact, the number one career to have people with narcissistic personality disorder are politicians, followed by number two, celebrities, and number three is the rise of social media influencers. So yeah, I mean, this might be the reason why she's running for a seat, you know, maybe it's the disorder. And also, some literature that I went through for this video. So Vanessa, this is for you. I actually went ahead and read. I went ahead and read the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual for Mental Disorders, number five. That's the most recent one, so that's where I'm pulling my information from. So this isn't just me, you know, talking out of my ass. So let's get into it. So, you know, for a person to be diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder, we're going to call it NPD for because I'm tired of getting tongue-tied on this. The same thing goes for the Diagnostics Manual of Mental Disorders uh, from this point forward. I'm just going to go ahead and call it the DSM number 5 because it is the fifth in its run. But according to the book, in order for someone to meet the criteria of NPD, they must have five or more of the following nine symptoms. So number one is a grandiose sense of self-importance, such as exaggerating achievements and talents. And I believe we've already been over this if you haven't seen this in Vanessa yet go ahead and watch the other two and a half videos I've made all right number two we got preoccupied with fantasies of unlimited success power brilliance beauty or ideal love by the end of this day this video is gonna have like a thousand views I promise you by the end of this day if not more I had I had I have videos that have 20,000 views 30,000 views and that's hard to do with controversial subjects that are in a small region the rest of the world don't know about me yet but when the rest of the world knows about me, I bet you I'm, I'm going to get more views. I bet you my shit will go viral. Go Google Vanessa Tijerina special education. That thing that was impossible that everybody told me, you're not going to get Texas to start doing right by special education children. 250,000 special education children a year for 10 years were being denied education. So Miguel Free is going to tell me that I'm not going to make no change. Man, I've already made change at the state and federal level. Sit down, Miguel Free. I'm running Republican. 
I'm running Republican. I'm the only one running Republican. I'm going to win that seat for these people. And they ain't going to like it. Lucio's people are going to be there kicking rocks. They're going to be so mad. Okay, so I feel like we kind of crossed that one out. Number three, believes he or she is special and unique. A lot of us are, and especially as kids, that's what we're told, that we're all special and unique. And that's why you have to be an adult to even be considered to have NPD. They don't test it in children. It's harder to see in children. Children are still developing. And we're not talking about a child as much as she acts like a child. We're talking about an adult. So there is nothing that the Republicans have that is even close to who I am. Nothing. Not regionally, not in the entire state of Texas, not in any of the 50 states of the United States does any Democratic Party, county, state, federal, nobody in the Democratic Party has me or anything even close to me. AOC's image was used a facet of mine was used for her. So don't even say that she's even close to who I am. She stole an image of me. I feel like this crosses another one off the list. Number four, requires excessive admiration. I feel like this is another one. We're already four for four and we still have about five more to go. But we see it in her lives all the time. She's always giving her shout outs to people. Uh, she'll stop her rants for three to five minutes just to go ahead and acknowledge anyone who's commenting on her. I, I was in line one time at a football game and um, the guy behind me was like just staring straight ahead like there's something wrong with him. Like he didn't even want to make eye contact with me. And then his wife says, ma'am, this is my husband and he's in love with you. He loves you, but he's not going to tell you right now. And I was like, oh, you know what? But uh, thank you so much for that. That makes me feel good. Francesca Kika Montoya says, you are, you LOL stunning. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Lupe Ramirez, how are you? Ricky Contreras, Ted Hernandez, Aaron Alonso, Ricky Flo, thumbs right up, uh, right back at you. Yolanda Vento Martinez says, good evening, Vanessa. Lucy Canales says, hello from Dallas, Texas. You got support up here. Thank you. Miss Sandri Von Fantic, hello. I see you here again, Mr. Johnny Saucy. If you, uh, Francesca Kika Montoya says, sorry, that looks stunning. Thank you. Gracias. Uh, Abel Ovia says que onda que onda y bo aquí estoy aquí en el valle donde están ustedes uh lucy canales says i've been wanting to comment but since i started following you i couldn't until now thank you lucy canales uh angela solis del toro says hola hermosa hola hola angela jennifer delgado stacy garcia serna how are you doing tonight stacy yeah I, I believe this excessiveness waiting a few seconds into her live to make sure she has a lot of attention uh, she's a real big numbers person. I remember when she tried starting her YouTube channel. Now, let's know. Let's look at all of y'all who have a. Let's let's look at everybody who has a YouTube channel that has excluded me. You don't even mention my name. Forty-five measly little subscribers. That's all they have. Forty-five. Are you kidding me? Let's no. Let's keep showing all these people that have barely any subscribers, barely any footprint on YouTube. Leave Leaving out the one candidate that has the biggest footprint out of all of them on social media. Watch. This is kind of sad. I wasn't even expecting this. Look at that. 50 views. That's Texas AFT. Put me on here and you will have more than 50 views. You know, 30 subscribers. And that's because you're a statewide organization. That's all you have, 30 subscribers. Their content that is, is, is not good. Otherwise, they'd have more views. Guys, I'm making this video because I need to reach 1,000, 1,000 subscribers to my YouTube channel. Uh, number five has a very strong sense of entitlement. Yes. All right, now we are five for five at this point. At this point, I believe she does have NPD, okay, with her unreasonable expectations, uh, especially favorable treatment or automatic compliance with his or her expectations. I mean, look at this. You're triggering me. Get out of here. Do you do you understand that? You're a trigger for me. Leave. You're a trigger for me. Leave. You're a trigger for me. Leave. She's a trigger for me. He's a trigger for me. Have him leave. Bye. Bye. Marchate. 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 Te me marchas. Te me marchas. You two, you can be behind the glass. Bye, security. Te me marchas. Oh, really? You're, you're being called for a disturbance? No way. Oh, you're making sure everything's okay? 
No, how am I going to relax? No, 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 no. no. Your kids are no. Here. I'd rather not you know, What? You're going to say that I'm being disorderly conduct? You're not going to start that shit with me. All of my followers will be on okay, Harlingen that's, Police. That's great enough. But okay, I need to find out what's going on. You don't need to find out what's going on. Speak to the people who called the cops. Was it weak ass Mr. Avila? Probably. Okay, well, you yelling at them like that's not going to solve anything. Excuse so, me? Sir, I'm on the spectrum. You need to know that right now. Okay, that's fine. And if you continue to treat me as if I'm a neurotypical person, it's your badge. That's fine. It's Officer Solis, badge number What do you need? One. What do you want? I just want to find out what's Am going I being on. detained? Then I don't want to talk to you. Then I don't want to talk to you. Bye. Okay, we're conducting an investigation. All right then. Then investigate the people you need to investigate. Am I being detained? Ma'am, All right. Ida. Don't. You said you didn't. You don't. You Nita. You don't. Nita. You called the police. I didn't call the police. That's why. Who called the police? They did. Very entitled right there. Again, kind of going on her accomplishments. I mean, she's a biologist. She's a nurse. She's all these things. I guess that does make her feel really entitled because her words, not mine, the Rio Grande Valley area she's wanting to represent is filled with people that are uneducated. Since she does have a degree, she kind of sees herself as above everyone else. I was reading a comment from one of my live videos and I said, I read the comments of the people that come in. They're from the Rio Grande Valley. They're not the most educated people, okay? It's exploitative of others, you know, she takes advantage of others just to achieve her ends. I mean, we've seen it with ex-friends of hers that are no longer in support of Vanessa, who have seen her for what she is and sees that she really does take advantage of anyone just to, just to benefit her. And number seven lacks empathy. We've already been over this, okay? She's unwilling to recognize or identify with the feelings and needs of others. It's really just all for her. I mean, I know she does lives. Uh, back when we had the hurricane a while back saying that she was there to help the public and bring awareness and stuff like that but i really didn't see her helping i just saw her kind of pouring salt on the wounds of people who had their houses uh, destroyed their yards destroyed people who were devastated of the situation they can look can you i went over there to the richer area this is mercedes that's west local she wasn't really doing any help. She wasn't showing any empathy to these people who were having a really bad, a really bad time in their lives. She was just there like, oh yeah, I got flooded here. Yeah, it's real bad, right? She, it was almost sickening what she was doing. But she's claiming that she was the one out there helping everyone. And really, she was just trying to throw her name out there and help herself win an election, even though I don't know how that would help. Uh, number eight is often envious of others. We see this. We have seen this in the past. Before she blocked, you know, thousands and thousands of people, those thousands and thousands of people were the ones watching her live. So that's why she was getting, you know, um, over a thousand views, two thousand views on her lives. But she started blocking everyone. So right now she's lucky she could pull a hundred views while she's doing her live. And I know a majority of those hundred people that still watch her are people using fake accounts, people using someone else's account that they weren't blocked on. I I doubt those are all just supporters. And I'm saying that because I use a fake account. I've spoken to other people, they use fake accounts also just to continue to watch her. But if you look at, you know, other channels, other pages that are starting to share her stuff, they're pulling in the thousand views now. Like it's it's a numbers game. If you wanna if you wanna be in this kind of market, it's a numbers game. You gotta keep those numbers up. You need to pump those numbers up. And right now she's really not doing it with her few views. And number nine, right now we're eight for eight. Let's see if we're gonna get number nine. Regularly shows arrogant behaviors or attitudes. She is very arrogant in her ways. Uh, no one can tell her she's wrong. She's the smartest person in the room. She, she just has a real overbearing manner and sees herself as superior. I don't see how or why, but if she does, you know, that's more power to her. And like I said, in order to be considered for NPD, you have to have five out of these nines. And I believe we've hit all nine of them. So I don't know if that's rare. I don't know if that's some kind of record. But Vanessa, there should be a medal or a plaque coming your way once you actually make the effort to go and uh, get your test done. So yeah, that was the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let's see what the next video is about. I mean, elections are coming up, so videos might get a little more, uh, more intense as time goes on. I uh, just want to say... Thank you all for this. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Go ahead and give me a like. Leave a comment so I know you're here. I tend to reply to all comments that are left on this video because I want to stay in touch with you all. And 
I guess that's it. Sorry. I'll see you later. Like I said, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a psychiatrist, I'm a dimwit.